but you can see I'm on that line of where I sprayed and, and you can see it, it took some of it out. It's a lot, uh, you know, a lot lower and, and, uh, you know, set back than this side of the picture. Uh, but by no means did it kill it. And again, that's why when people call me and say, Hey, should I spray? Um, I say, no, it, it's, it's not right. Um, but I hopped in the sprayer to go test that. So, and, and I could have a mess here. I mean, there's, you know, one of us on here has been in that situation where when we set a cover crop back, it, sometimes it never becomes actively growing, which is, uh, you know, tougher to go after and kill at times. And that's, uh, I don't know how well we can see it, but plants like this that have, uh, you know, some green and some brown in them, that, that becomes very difficult to then take up chemical the next time. And that's what concerns me. Um, if you get in this situation, what I tell people is normally wait one more week when you think it's ready to spray, let that plant green up and get more actively growing so it can take in your chemicals.